What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a hair tutorial on how I've been styling my hair at this lob length. Um, I've been getting a lot of you guys asking how I do this just kind of like bend in it and it's really similar to the last tutorial I did. It's just slightly different because I did have to modify the way that I style it because it's this much shorter. So it's just a little tweakage but um, I've been going for more of like a bendy look rather than a curly look because I just find it's a little bit more flattering for this length versus like super curly so it's actually really easy to do um, so if you guys have a similar hair length to mine then I think you'll really like this because it just kind of looks a little bit more effortless and not quite as styled which is kind of the vibe that I tend to go for so uh, before we get into it I would love if you guys would subscribe just so you can stay updated whenever I upload my next video for you and if there's any other hair tutorials you want to see uh, leave them in the comments down below and uh, I would love it if you guys would come follow me on Instagram too because I'm always on Instagram whenever I'm not here on my channel I always say that but it's true <laughs> so this is how I style my hair when it's just washed so while my hair is still wet from the shower I use a full pump of this Kerastase uh, nutritive eight hour magic night serum I do use this at night as well but I also like putting it in my hair on the days that I wash it because it's just a really nice uh, nourishing serum that I feel like helps me detangle and all that stuff and I do also mix in a couple drops of my Orbe power drops these are the hydration and anti-pollution boosters I like these two paired together just because my hair is bleached, so I like to take care of the bleached areas and just help make them nice and soft because they're a little bit frizzy from all of that bleach. Um, and then I always, I've been using this for years at this point, it's the Orbe Super Shine Cream. I do a really small amount of this all throughout my hair and it just helps keep a little bit more moisture in my hair, make it a little bit less frizzy and it just makes my hair feel a lot more softer and supple. So I use this every single time I blow dry my hair as well. Um, I use a little bit of this Orbe Royal Blowout Spray. This just helps like tame the frizz as you're blow drying and it also really helps with, I think, making the blow dry process a lot faster. On this day when I style my hair, I use the uh, Revlon One Step tool and that just gives you kind of like a blowout without having to use a blow dryer and a hairbrush. So it's a little bit faster, a little bit easier to do. Okay, and then I start off by clipping up my sections of hair and I'm gonna flat iron these lower sections. I think this is kind of the most important thing um, to flat iron these lower sections that are underneath the top side because otherwise I've noticed that if I don't flat iron these pieces that's how you get uh, the Lord Farquaad hair. So you just want to run the iron through these lower sections and just get these straightened out and kind of curl them inward slightly just a little down the next section just working in tiny sections so that I make sure that all of the hair gets straightened and there's none of this like frizziness going because the frizziness is what makes the hair go outward so you want to prevent as much frizz as possible by just keeping these lower sections as straight as possible and yeah same thing um, just sec oh, section by section flat ironing all these layers until we get to the last section where we'll actually curl it. But this is just to ensure that it doesn't look frizzy or wide. Okay, and then I take down the last section and then um, you can pick your part wherever you like to part your hair. I personally like to part my hair down the middle. That's also where my part just kind of naturally is. And then I'll clip this away, kind of brush through. And this is hard to do on camera because I usually have like a bigger mirror, but I'm using my monitor. So my sections are not as perfect, but I'll take sections of hair that are about an inch thick. And then I'm using this um, T3 curling iron and I hold the iron vertical the whole time and then wrap it around about three times leave the end out so that you can keep a little bit of length and then once my hair is heated up I just pull down really similar to the way I used to do it and then again have to find the next section of hair 
about an inch thick. That's the start up here. Wrap it around about twice. Give the hair 10 seconds or so to heat up and then you pull down. And then for this piece that frames my hair, I generally only wrap it once. Let it heat up. And then I uh, put it down. And I do all my curls uh, facing away from my face, just so I can get like a uniform bend rather than mismatched waves. If I'm going for something that's like more beachy, I'll alternate the direction that the curls face. But when I'm just trying to do this soft bend, I like to do them all facing the same direction because then it's more of like a uniform wave type of vibe rather than like a little bit more textured and PC. Same thing in the front, just one wrap. Put it down. All right, and then once all the little tubes of hair have cooled off for a couple minutes, I just take my fingers, kind of rake it through, and then you see you get that nice uniform wave. And I think the biggest thing is like you really can't curl the lower sections because it already, you know, goes out so much just from being short. There's not that much that it can do aside from like go outward. So I find that when I leave these lower sections curly, it just gets so wide and triangular shaped and Lord Farquaad-ish. So I like to keep those lower sections straight. I think that makes the biggest difference. Um, I'm not even kidding you, when I first cut it short, like this short, I was having a little bit of a panic attack because I tried to curl more sections like I used to do when it was a little bit longer and it just, I could not get it right and I was like, did I make a mistake and cut my hair so short that I just can't figure out how to style? But I actually think that only curling this top section is what gives you that kind of like effortless wavy bend and then if you think about it, nobody really ever sees that lower section. Like it, it stays hidden in the rest of the hair to where you don't have to worry about it. Okay, then I use just a little bit of the Orbe Smooth Style Serum, which is different than the Super Shine Moisturizing Cream. I know, they look exactly the same, but this one's different. And I really just take barely any product, rub it in my palms, and this just goes up through this layer of hair where I'm a little bit more frizzy from the bleach. And I'll just kind of lightly massage just a really small amount of product in my hair. It might look like I'm using a lot of products, but I'm using such small amounts that I can still run my hands through my hair and it doesn't feel like there's product in there. Um, and then I like to use the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I think that just this just gives you a really nice amount of wispiness. So I'll just kind of go like this with my hair and then spray the texturizer in it while I'm kind of tousling it. So you wanna make sure you shake it up really well. And then just do a couple sprays so you can kind of get a little bit of texture going in there, just like this. You want texture but not frizz. So this gives you just a little bit of movement and pieciness and I feel like it always kind of accentuates the waves a little bit more. But um, the dry texturizing spray does slightly take away a little bit of shine from your hair. So I always like to go in with some sort of shine spray. Um, I'm really liking this one from Way right now. And this will just make everything a little bit more shiny and healthy looking. So just a couple spritzes, just all throughout the body of the hair. Not my body, but you can use this on your body too. So I'll just do a little bit of that. And again, just kind of move it around with my fingers a bit. And there you go. There are the waves. The texturizer really helps. Just kind of add some PC-ness so it doesn't look so one-dimensional. And you get a little bit of kind of like flirty, playful movement in the hair. So I really think that the texturizing spray makes the biggest difference. And so does the shine spray because then it puts the health and life back into the hairstyle that you kind of took a little bit away from when you put a dry texturizing spray in. 
Okay, so that is how I do this bend action in my hair. And um, I just think that it took me a while to kind of get the hang of it, because for a while, it was turning out, like Mariah Leonard said, like Lord Farquaad, like that's really what it was looking like. And I was freaking out because I thought that I had just cut my hair so short that it couldn't wave or curl without looking like Lord Farquaad. So as long as you keep the lower section straight and then hold the iron vertically, you won't get that effect with your hair and it won't look so wide. It'll look nice and sleek and just like a bend. So I generally only do this like twice a week and then just let it do its own thing the next few days until the next time I wash it. Cause I try not to heat style every single day. I try to be a little bit more, you know, choosy about when I heat style just because I said I was gonna take better care of my hair when I cut it off, but then I put so much bleach in it and it's you know lighter than it's ever been. The base color is really light now. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to take a little bit better care of it and not heat style it as much, but overall, this isn't you know that complicated of a hairstyle. It only takes me like 15 minutes, give or take some days, but um, it's easy, it's a good go-to, and I just like how it doesn't look too styled and it's not too complicated. It's just a really nice effortless go-to hairstyle. So um, I will list and link all of the tools and products that I used in this tutorial. If you guys have any questions regarding anything, hit me up in the comments down below. I'll always do my best to get back to you guys. Um, but other than that, I think that's everything I wanted to hit. Um, so please be sure to subscribe if you didn't earlier and come follow me on Instagram as well. Other than that, guys, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye, guys.